In this video, I want to show you how to work with and install the line light into your SketchUp model using Enscape, as well as how to change the color of your bulbs. Now the line light is located in the black circle plus sign, which is called Enscape Objects, and it's kind of smack dab in the middle of all the lights. The line light is going to look like a fluorescent bulb, and what's cool is that in SketchUp, you're going to be able to adjust how long that bulb actually it is. So you can place these bulbs just like you would a 2x2 or 2x4 fluorescent fixture, or you can use these guys to help you create like cove lighting, which is lighting that goes around the perimeter of an object, kind of like a ceiling. Now in my project, what I did is I dug out a little area uh, in this soffit next to the wall to kind of act like cove lighting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the bulb and I'm going to adjust it and rotate it as I need to. And then I'm simply just going to move it in here uh, to create uh, some cove lighting. Sometimes I find that the <laughs> line light can be a little tricky, so sometimes it's good to just click on it. And for some reason, I just like placing it on a floor. I think that that works best. And just like the sphere, it's got that two click system. The first click is your base point. The second click is going to be to make it stick. I'm going to use the move command to just bring it up off the floor and kind of out into the open so that I can look at it and adjust it. So as you can see, it is a tubular linear light and up here in the little slider bars, I can click on length and I can actually make that bulb much longer. So let's kind of give it some length there to play with and so you can see it only goes up to so far, so you can't make it like really huge or really long or anything like that, but uh, I'm just going to keep it at about this length right here. And what I'm going to need to do and how you should approach the line light is to place it first and then adjust it. So when I say adjust it, I mean that way you can move it, you can rotate it, you can do whatever it is that you want to do to it. So I need to rotate this. So I'm going to hit the rotate command. I'm going to place my cursor on top of the light and then I'm going to hit the up arrow on my keyboard and that's going to snap that rotate button right onto the bulb in a way that will help me rotate it the way I need it to. So I'm going to click and I'm going to move my cursor so that I can start the process of rotation by giving it that first reference angle and so click to make that reference angle stick and then you can move your light fixture in the direction that you want it to. Now you want to make sure that you get this placed perfectly 90 degrees from the original reference angle. So just go ahead and move your cursor so that the light fixture starts rotating and then type 90. Hit enter and you'll see that it'll rotate this into perfect position at 90 degrees from its original angle. Then all you do is you just use the move command and move it right into place. Uh, so I like to try and find all those green axes, um, get it over towards the wall a little bit. Let's kind of move out of the ceiling and back over here and I'm just trying to get it up against the wall. And then once it's kind of there, I can move it straight up and hopefully into that cove. Again, I'm the worst orbiter in the world, y'all, so please forgive the way that I'm orbiting. Uh, I've only been doing SketchUp for three years. You'd think I'd get it by now, but I don't have it. It looks like I need to maybe move it over just a little bit, just like that. So see how I'm in that cove, and then I'm just going to move it straight up. And I don't want it to go into the cove, I just want it to sit just like that. And then I'm going to orbit around a little bit. And I'm going to make sure that I get this light bulb into the cove so it's not like popping out the side. So there I moved it. Here is where it's located. I can always adjust the size if I want to, but just for demonstration purposes, I want you to see that the light bulb is in place and you can also see the light emitting so that when we come out you can see the cool effect that it's giving. Let me brighten it up a little bit so that you can actually see the light emitting from that cove. So this is great for around ceilings, 
um, around any kind of area that you want the bulb kind of hiding but you want a nice long linear wash over the wall. Um, to show you how to actually change the color of the bulb means I'm going to have to orb it around again. Here we go everybody. Look out. Good thing I haven't drank any Coronas in this video. <laughs> That's just kind of an inside joke between me and my students, by the way. If you want to change the color that this bulb is, you can do a quick, easy fix, which is going to your default tray. My default tray is not showing, so I'm going to go up to Window, Default Tray, Show Tray, and then I'm just going to extend this so that we can see a little bit better. Uh, but once you have your default tray, go down to the Materials, section of the tray and then look for colors in this little scroll bar right here. And let's say that maybe I want this to be a red light coming out of here. I can click on the red and then all you do is you just paint the bulb red. And when we orbit back around to kind of see how this actually ended up, you can see that it is now emitting red light in Enscape. So it's just a quick and easy fix. I don't know if that's the right way or the wrong way or what, but uh, that's the way that I'm doing it. <laughs> so um, that'll help you kind of play if you want different colored lights in your fixtures. If you want like a, a more yellow light or a softer light, maybe you can choose a more yellow light over here. But um, if you want to have some fun colors, that is how you can do it. So in this video, you learned how to work with line lights and how to change the color of a light. Next up, I'm going to teach you how to make any object face uh, be self-illuminating.